We're doing lo mein noodles in this one. It's a super easy recipe to make and I'm doing chicken for this, but you can add beef, pork, seafood, fish, and even just straight vegetables. Just do whatever you want. And I'm also gonna be putting quite a few vegetables through this, such as carrot, mung beans, which are bean sprouts, spring onion, and cabbage. So let's get straight into it. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy. All right, starting off, we're going to need 400 grams or 14.1 ounces of noodles. These are egg noodles and are fresh, which need cooking. But if your noodles are already cooked, you can just skip what I'm about to do. Place a saucepan of water over high heat, bring the water to a boil and add in the noodles, cooking them for one minute less than the packet instructions, giving them the occasional mix to ensure that they don't stick together. In the meantime, we need 300 grams or 10.5 ounces of boneless and skinless chicken thigh. And to prepare this, I'm using Koi Knives' new boning knife, which will be coming very soon to their website, so stay tuned for that. As for the thighs, these can be thinly sliced, staying consistent with the size of the slices for even cooking times. It is also up to you how much fat you remove. Some people like it and some people don't. Of course, no recipe is complete without garlic, and for this we need three cloves that can be thinly sliced or minced. It is up to you, but just note that minced will burn a lot quicker, and this is a quick cooking dish just for a heads up. This right here is one quarter of a Chinese cabbage, which is also known as wombok, and for this I'm using the new cleaver from Koi Knives, which is also set to drop soon and is beyond perfect for tasks like this. With the cabbage, this can be evenly shredded and you don't have to use the vegetables that I'm using in this recipe. You can add pretty much whatever you want, which I'll leave a few ideas for you in the description. I really like adding cabbage to recipes like this though, as it's good for you, even though this recipe isn't that healthy and it creates a really nice texture. Next is one large carrot that's been washed. I've also left the peel one, but you can peel it if you prefer. Let's then top and tail this. Slice it in half so it's easier to work with. Then take a small strip off the side so it can sit flat without wobbling everywhere. Then slice into even sized strips, being careful of the last slice. Stack the slices into two or three layers and cut into matchstick cuts, which is also known as julienne. Last but not least is two to three spring onions or scallions, and I usually separate the green stem from the white root end, but this time just slice the whole lot into three centimeter strips. Now going back to the noodles that have been cooked for one minute less than the packet instructions, these can be removed from the stovetop and carefully poured through a colander to drain. Place a wok or large pan over high heat, add in one and a half tablespoons or 30 milliliters of peanut oil, and once smoking hot, add in the thinly sliced chicken thigh. Let's then stir fry this for two to three minutes or until very lightly golden, of course mixing it regularly, and you can add some salt and pepper to this if you want, but be careful with the sodium as the sauce is pretty strong. With that done, remove the chicken, placing it into a bowl or plate, and place the wok or pan back over a high heat. Add in one tablespoon or 20 milliliters of peanut oil again, allowing it to start smoking, add in the sliced or minced garlic, and fry for 10 seconds, mixing it the whole time. Next, add in the shredded Chinese cabbage, which is the wombok, along with the matchstick or julienne carrot, and stir fry for one and a half to two minutes, just until the veggies have very lightly softened and the cabbage is lightly golden brown. You can also have a practice with tossing the pan, just don't toss all the ingredients on the stovetop or on the floor. Add the chicken and resting juices back in, as well as the cooked noodles, then break up the noodles and get them well mixed through so that everything is evenly distributed, and cook this all for one minute, mixing the whole time. For the sauce, add in two tablespoons or 40 milliliters of regular or light soy sauce for a strong umami flavor, as well as one quarter of a cup or 60 milliliters of dark soy sauce for more umami and a great color, one teaspoon or five milliliters of toasted sesame oil for a nutty flavor, and one quarter of a teaspoon or three grams of granulated sugar for a little bit of sweetness. With all that in, give this a really good mix through, getting it all lathered and sauced up, and cook for one minute. Traditionally, this dish isn't supposed to be very saucy, just enough to coat everything. Once coated, add in 100 grams or 3.5 ounces of mung beans or bean sprouts and the spring onion or scallion. Give it all another really good mix and cook for one final minute, again making sure everything is saucy, then remove it from the stovetop. Serve it in bowls, plates, or straight out of the wok if you really wanted to. Garnish it with some spring onion or scallion and some chili if you really want to as well. And what we've just created is this absolutely amazing chicken lo mein noodles that are bursting with flavor. The only thing that's then left to do is make this all worthwhile, and that is, we can then dig in. Also, come follow me on Instagram.